Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is a Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes So I want to start by wishing each and every one of you a wonderful new year So it's the 2nd of January 2020 Um, I'm not even sure if I made a recording yesterday but I was a bit unwell um, in the evening so but I might have done I might have done one like early hours of the morning possibly I can't remember I can't no I was wasn't I I didn't I do one Yeah, I did one early hours of the morning, didn't I? So I did do one yesterday on the first during the because the news was on with mute on mute, and there was fireworks, and I was trying to work out which countries because I think it was like four o'clock in the morning or something, trying to work out which countries were celebrating the new year, and I did get for some reason I thought. I wrongly and even I knew I was wrong because like obviously Australia wouldn't be celebrating the new year at four o'clock in the morning this time but I wasn't sure if Australia was ahead or behind like our my time I know it's the opposite like during the night Australia's during the day if <laughs> that makes sense but I wasn't sure, I was like, there was fireworks. And on the news, there was fireworks at the Australian, was it the opera, the Sydney Opera House or a bridge or something? Anyway, so I got a message from someone saying that they did the fireworks earlier or something, I think. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit confused with my. Uh, I mean, my my geog- <laughs> I don't have the best geography, geographical mind, but it's getting better. I'm I'm getting a little bit better with it. There may be background sounds during this recording because it's only. 3.24 in the afternoon I don't normally make recordings during the day like this however um, because last night I was unwell I went to bed at 9 and uh, I ended up waking up I woke up about 5.30 in the morning and then I went back to bed till about half nine so I kind of I'm awake during the day if that makes sense and I don't know if you can hear that scratching in the background I've got um, got birds in the loft but I've also got mice in this building that appear every now and then which isn't wonderful but it's, a, it's an old building and I had I got a mouse that's been in one of the cupboards under the sink, and uh, so I don't put anything in that cupboard. And I check it, I, I seal it up so Andre can't get in there. Although it'd be good if he could get in there because then he could leave his smell, and no mouse wants to be anywhere near Andre. You know, he's uh, he. He definitely lets off a, a warning signal, and they don't, you know, he'll. They they don't want to be in this flat, if at all possible. So I did have one wander in here by accident, and it really wanted to get out. But the storage room, where he doesn't go into, which is a little bit chocker with 
stuff that I want to try and get rid of. Um, there's that's where the mice can, I think can get in another another entrance. And um, so uh, I don't don't like mice. It's weird. I got got a bit of a fear of mice. Yeah, I've got this big ferret. No, he's not big, but he's a hell of a lot bigger than a mouse running around. Who could... A mouse can't cause me any harm at all, but <laughs> Andre could if he wanted to. Although he doesn't, because he's beautiful and lovely and gentle. And he knows that if he... Let's face it, why would he want to... Why would he want to harm me when he gets a, has a double bed to himself? He's sleeping now on a big king-size bed. He's got everything, pretty much, that he could ever want. He's living, living a life of luxury. Always got food available constantly. Always got water, loads of toys. The only thing that he's missing, really, is... Apart from the wild, you know, being outside and living like the natural lifestyle that he would live if he was uh, a wild ferret would be, I suppose, company with other ferrets and a female, uh, you know, and what comes with that. Um, so I've, he, I, he doesn't have those things but he has pretty much everything else and even when I do take him out he doesn't want to go out a lot of the time because it's a little bit cold out there so what he does is I pick him up put his little harness on I carry him downstairs and then I put him down on the floor and I go to walk and he literally he, he's stubborn. He won't walk. <laughs> he puts. He digs his feet into the ground. It's ridiculous, really. It's it's like he's like a little baby, refusing to walk. So I end up if I'm going somewhere, I end up putting him. Well, I hold him, and then he wants to get inside my jacket. So I let him inside my jacket and he goes to sleep. What is the po what's the point in that? Especially if I'm actually taking him for a walk. That's the only reason I've gone out is to take him for a walk. And then sometimes he will pop his head out and he'll just watch. He'll look around. See, that's not too bad because at least he's out getting some fresh air. He's getting to see stuff, smell the, you know all the smells and stuff in the fields and you know sometimes he'll want to get down then because he's, he's enticed it's like hmm what's that smell smell of a drain I want to get down I want to get into that drain that's kind of I don't know if that's what he thinks but maybe he thinks all oh, the smell of that drain is better than the smell of his armpit so I'm going to get I want to get away from him and go and sniff the drain just to cancel out the smell of my dad which would be rude hopefully he doesn't think that way so happy new year yeah happy new year um, yeah if you'd like to leave as a little happy new year's present if you'd like to leave a review a nice review on my website and then that would be nice uh, there's no point in leaving uh, well if you're listening I don't, I don't know why anyone would leave a, an unkind words uh, on my website but you know some people just that's the way they they roll isn't it like to say things but you know I'm not going to publish anything on there that's that's a bit unkind. I don't really see the point. It's uh, I've had a couple uh, recently, actually, a couple of 
and one one message and another person left a review and it's like oh, okay it's like oh, that's a bit a little bit cruel actually some of the words there it's uh not so much the um the message that was sent because that was just about me yawning loudly so that wasn't cruel that was just a a uh, personal opinion which is fine but and I made fun of it in my last recording I think or one of them because I'm not going to stop yawning actually at the moment I'm not yawning because I'm not tired but when I'm making a recording at 3 o'clock in the morning I'm tired which is why I'm yawning and even back in the day I don't say those kind of phrases very often back in the day uh, three decades ago funny enough can't believe it I've been doing this recordings these um, you know videos and audios over three decades now started in 2006 so when it, so I was in those that, that decade, then I was all the way through the 2010s, whatever decade, and now I'm in the 2020s decade. So three decades I'm spanned doing this. That's quite. I think that's quite cool. I've got to do something special for my 20th anniversary. I don't know what, but something surely because. We're only six years, was it 2020? Yeah, six years away to the 20th anniversary. I wonder what, what could we do? It's not really worth thinking about, is it yet? Because <laughs> it's so long away, but it's not really. It will be here before we know it. 20th anniversary. I remember years ago, kind of in my mind thinking, I can't believe it's been 20 years since I left school. And that would have been 2006. Wow, so 20 years after I left school, I started making these recordings. So I left school 34 years ago. Ooh. 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 What on earth? What on earth? So I've got some plans. Let's talk about my plans for this year. I can do a little summary of last year as well. I tried to do it the other day, but I just, my brain just went blank. So, I still haven't worked out how many recordings I did during 2019, but I had over 600,000 downloads um, during 2019, so that I was pleased with that. I was hoping to, you know, at the beginning of the year, I wanted to have a million. So, 600,000 is... It's it's a compromise, isn't it? It's a fairly nice compromise. And so I would like, because I'm now at six hundred and I think it's six hundred and seventy thousand, something like that, all in all, since November the twenty first, two thousand and eighteen. And I didn't have many downloads during 2018 you know that, uh, December it was only like a few thousand and then it's gone up and I think I think I think I think December the December just gone 2019 was the highest downloads I'd had so I think I had 59 maybe 60,000 downloads 
in December. So that was the best month of the year. Um, when December's normally, it's not just in, ex- like in my experience, is possibly a, a more of a quieter month, especially during Christmas, you know, the week, the week of Christmas and New Year, because people, a lot of people are doing other, th- other things, you know, and it's usually a little bit quieter, just like it's often a bit quieter on a, maybe a Saturday and a Sunday compared to the rest of the week sometimes like with downloads and also I didn't produce a huge amount of recordings in December so I'm quite pleased from that perspective because the more recordings I produce the more downloads I get Um, because I've got some people that I've got those that listen to these that let me bore you to sleep recordings I've also got people that uh, are fans of the relaxation uh, hypnosis for stress and anxiety and panic attacks. That's, I'm not saying it's got its a different audience, but it's got its own audience, uh, which may also be people that listen to these as well. I, I don't know. But that's got its own audience, and every time I release a new recording, you know, I get a big spike of... Um, listeners and downloads for that podcast and then the what's the other one? Oh yeah deep sleep whisper hypnosis again that's got its own audience separate from the other two podcasts but of course there might be a crossover some people might listen to perhaps all of the different podcasts I do I don't know but that's definitely got a like a separate audience overall I would say I haven't made as many of those recordings lately um, as I have done in the past because I would hope to do one pretty much every day and I've possibly only done about four in January uh, in December sorry and every time I even when I don't make new ones I still get quite a few people listening to that podcast even though I've not made any new ones but when I do make a new one there's a big spike of um, downloads and that's still one of my most popular podcasts so I think I've had 115,000 downloads on that podcast alone and I'm still I've not reached the I've still not reached 90,000 yet on this podcast. So I'm I'm hoping, you know, I just want it, I'd like, no, it's unlikely to happen, but I'd like all my podcasts to at least have 100,000 downloads. But all the popular ones pretty much have. Um, so I've got one, two, three, that have reached over 100,000. And then I've got this one, which is on its way to that. And I've got the Deep Sleep Whisper. No, that is that is already hit, reached over 100,000. Uh, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, which I'm not very good at making them regularly. I mean, it's just one recording a week, but I still seem to manage to do them every two weeks or three weeks. Uh, and that's there's a big spike every time I may, I you know release one of those, so that'll eventually be a hundred thousand. But it it's going to take a while because it's you know there's a small audience for that podcast because I don't make so many. I think I've got thirty thirty. Um, recordings on there compared to the hundreds that I've got on the other podcasts and the relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety that that one is 
it's creeping up to the same kind of level as this podcast even though there's a lot less recordings and I do them a lot less often so that's kind of growing I think that's around 70,000 downloads on that podcast and there's I think 70 70 recordings plus another probably 20 uh, relaxation sessions that are on there from the, from the past that I put on so I'm looking forward to seeing how things go but this year I'd like to the, I'd like to at the, very, at the very least I'd like to have a million downloads during this year you know so that would be at the end of the year uh, it'd be one million six hundred and seventy thousand or whatever you know so a million just on its own this year I'd like more but that's the minimum I'd like just uh, as a as a target you know as a kind of I don't know just as it grows as it grows and just ideally and this is really just for a just from a, a, a fun perspective for me I'd like to have reached 10,000 a day downloads by the end of the year so you know the last year the last month or two of the year I'd like to be getting 10,000 downloads on average every day at the moment it's about 2,000 if I release one new recording if I release two or three recordings it goes up to about 3,000 downloads for the day so it depends on sort of how much work I put into it so I've got some ideas and I know the the stats it's not particularly interesting and nothing I say is supposed to be interesting really is it because it's boring it's a boring podcast but for me it's, it's kind of like a a challenge you know but it, it interests me to see how many downloads I can get and to see new ways of promoting what I do because I've put very little effort in promoting the website I promote the recordings they're all over the internet they're on lots of different podcasts uh, podcast hosts you know so you can listen to them all over the place but my actual website I've started doing something it's a, it's a new it's an app that I've downloaded part of my website so my website's on Shopify so I've now got this app which is an SEO uh, which is what does that stand for SEO search engine optimization I think that's that's what it stands for and it costs me it's going to cost $25 a month for me to have this service but they optimize each web page so that it's Google friendly so that it will attract visitors to the website so I'm hoping that people that have never heard of me or don't know what I do or anything like that may come over come across me online like by accident um, and then th and then listen you know maybe download some of my recordings and um, either I mean, it doesn't matter if they come back to the website or they just use the the podcast you know because everyone some people like to listen on Spotify some people like to listen on Castbox Twitcher Stitcher Twitcher 
Is there such a thing as Twitcher? Stitcher. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. Luminary. Um, Podbean. Oh, so many. So many different ones. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. But at the same time, I don't want to spend too much of my time working on the website because I get too engrossed in it I really do it 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 kind of takes over my life a bit when I'd rather spend or put what energy I have into making new recordings that to me would be a better a better use of my time so it's kind of I suppose it's trying to find a balance you know trying to find a balance between the online promotion the website building the website promotion the trying to you know let the internet know what I do but at the same time try you know create a new new material for the regular listeners because I mean the one thing that I've done and those who have listened for a long time will back me up on this one is I've always tried to create a lot of like new stuff instead of just making one recording and saying, well, that's that one done. One recording for sleep. Or maybe, let's do like four recordings for sleep. And now let's do something else. I've ended up doing hundreds of recordings for sleep. Hundreds of recordings for relaxation. And, and that was long before, you know, I was doing podcasts. That was back in the days of MySpace and before Facebook was even around. So I was kind of, yeah, I, I just like the idea of options, you know, a bit of, uh, it's nice to listen to the same recording. It can be really useful to listen to the same recording over and over again. It can transform your life if it's, if it's a, if it, if it touches you in the right way, you know, if it reaches those parts in your mind and stimulates that change, that transformation, then brilliant, you know, if there's a particular recording, whether it's me or whether it's someone else, whatever, is that can be brilliant. Also, it can be really good to have an option of different recordings. Because I, I've listened, years and years ago, I started listening to recordings. Um, I still do, actually. But I've always, always, but since 2000, no, since 1997, it was about... Actually, it was earlier than that, but that's when I really got into it. I started listening to audio tapes, self-help audio tapes. And I started collecting them, listening to them, and I'd be listening to them for hours every day. And trying to... Trying to gain something from it, you know? It's trying to... Uh, not necessarily transform myself but to learn I wanted to learn but I wanted it to be a really deep learning not just an intellectual learning so by listening I wanted it to sink in to my bones you know I wanted it to be I wanted this knowledge to be part of my being not just um, something that I remembered or could regurgitate verbally I wanted it to be something that would be part of me 
and I've tried to do that with books that I've read uh, and I don't always understand everything I read I don't always understand everything I hear I'm not going to sort of pretend I do because I don't sometimes sometimes I have to reread something a few times before I get it it's like and that might be due to lack of concentration at that point it might just be because it's something that I didn't just didn't understand I just didn't quite get where the writer was coming from or the speaker was coming from and sometimes I'll reread something that I read years ago and I, I I get a new learning from it I gain something new like, ah that makes sense ah that's what they meant doesn't mean that is what they meant but that was my understanding and I, I find that that's the stuff that really sinks in you know understanding something on a, an almost emotional uh, I don't want to use the word spiritual but on a very deep uh, almost profound level possibly I, like, I, want to, I need to say the word possibly just just to cover myself because it might not it might it might not but I do I like to um, I like to read I've read so many books over the years but it was the self-help audios they were basically books in audio form most of them you know, I think the ones that I listened to to start with was, I think it was Ken, is it Ken Livingston's Seagull? Or the, you know, the, the, the book The Seagull. So I listened to that. I think I've read the book as well, but I listened to it. And then I listened to The Alchemist, Koala Bear, the bloke, the bloke who wrote that. The Alchemist. Uh, I listened to another tape. I think it was the Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. So I listened to that one. I listened to. Well, this is back in 97, 1997. I listened to Tony Robbins. I think he had three audios based on his books there was one was it giant steps uh, I've read the books as well they had big old books they are doorsteps literally they're just huge books um, really thick so I read yeah, so I listened to, I think, three of his audios. And then I discovered Zig Ziglar. Oh, I love Zig Ziglar. Give me a bit of Zig Ziglar. Love him. The, the positivity just drips out of him. You know, he sweats positivity we did when he was uh, alive you know he was absolutely just one of my favourites I've still got um, stuff by him not not tapes anymore but I've got an uh, audio book of his I've had books of his as well that I used to read because I was very interested in I was interested in getting into sales and a lot of his stuff was about sales but within that it was just so much about positivity and you know uh, something that he called uh, stinking thinking 
and getting rid of your getting rid of your stinking thinking and what was the other word or well, the other thing he says uh He used to have these little rhymes, but one of the things he said, which really resonated with me for the very first time I heard it, was, you can get everything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. So you can get everything you want and need in your life if you help enough other people get what they want and that that stuck with me and I really believed it you know if, I mean, we're talking 20 22 years ago um, 20 23 yeah 22 and a bit years ago so it was 23 years ago but it wasn't really it was it was the end of 1997 and I truly, truly believed that, and I suppose I still do, if you help enough other people. So basically, my philosophy has kind of come out of that partly, of helping other people and I do believe that helping other people helps you or or helping other people helps me you know, me helping other people helps me and on various levels I suppose I mean, according to a person who's left that uh, review that I deleted from my website, it was uh, saying I've clearly got issues with my childhood, and I like to talk about them. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I think it was like basically I'm benefiting more from what I do than anyone else is, and maybe it's true. I don't know. I don't talk about my childhood in any of the other podcasts, really. I talk about anxiety and panic and stuff in the uh, panic, you know, relaxation of panic and anxiety. But I share my own experiences because that's what the podcast is about. It's about sharing my experiences, letting other people know that they're not alone, letting other people hear someone be vulnerable by sharing my experiences by not being shy by not being uptight by not hiding you know letting people know that that possibly it's okay to be open and it's not a weakness you know an illness is not a weakness it may feel weak but it's not a weakness, being ill. And we're all allowed to be ill. Don't recommend it, but we are all allowed. It's part of life. And talking about it is probably, you know, I think it's useful. But that's probably, I'm coming from a, I suppose a therapeutic place, you know, having been a counsellor, having studied psychotherapy, counselling, hypnosis, um, as well as being a therapist. So I had to pause the recording then because I had a knock on the door. That's another thing that doesn't happen at three in the morning when I'm making recordings. But it's okay, so I put it on pause. So I'm now 
kind of completely forgotten what I was talking about. But I know at some point I was talking about my statistics of the podcast. The yeah, the podcast. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do is go through them. Yay! Because I know how much. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. I lied. I didn't lie. I exaggerated. Actually, I didn't exaggerate. I overestimated because I didn't. I've not really been keeping too much track of the total downloads. But it's six hundred forty-nine thousand five hundred thirty-four downloads. 21,860 total plays so so it's about 270 well it's over 270 including total plays so I was kind of right 670 but it's 649,534 downloads since the 21st of November 2018 and today so far I've had 1,873 downloads, which ain't bad considering it's only 20 past four. And the best day of the year, the best day of um, last month. Yeah, the, the best day, probably one of the best days of the year was 16th of December where I had 5,012 downloads Ooh. so yeah so that's if I go for the whole year um, okay plays and downloads what's going on there oh So just give you an idea of the of the actual the microphone's getting all tangled up. So give you an idea of the each individual podcast without going through each and every one because that would be that's even more boring than I'm willing to go. Um, the top podcasts. Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis, 113,450. Hypnosis of Sleeping Deeply, 130,126 downloads. Let Me Boy to Sleep, didn't I say 68 or say it's, it's eight, no, it's 86,193 downloads for the Let Me Boy to Sleep. Relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety, 61,490. So it's kind of creeping up on the on this podcast in a sense of... Uh, it's 20,000 away, isn't it? 25,000 away. And what's the next one? Uh... Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis is 120,055 downloads and the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly is 37,534 so that would be a lot higher if I only actually stuck to making one every week so I'll need to start doing that I want to start doing that so Deep Sleep Whisper So even the last time I recorded a Deep Sleep Whisper recording was on the 20th of December, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days ago. Uh, so far today I've had 235 downloads. Yesterday I had 306 downloads. Um, 
so I'm still getting regular downloads even though I haven't released a new recording for quite a few quite a while and on the day I released the new recording the last one I got 430 downloads and then on the yeah so I literally did one two three four five five recordings of the deep sleep whisper during December and one two three four five in November one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven in October a heck of a lot more in September from the looks of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve in September, so no, not that many more. So, you know, it's August and July, so it's December is pretty much the lowest amount that I've uh, done. But the, the last one I did for Deep Sleep Whisper was number 170. And I've had 1,039 downloads of that one. Um, but people do still listen to the older ones as well. And some of the most popular ones I've got is... I'm just going through them. Number 113... In fact, not one of that is the most popular uh, Deep Sleep Whisper one out of all of them. I'm not sure why. 1,327 downloads. And that was on the 9th of July. So that's... If I do a custom... Just go through the whole of the year... Kind of first of January. Actually, won't let me go to the first of January. Go, let me go to the second of January, because it only goes for a year period. But so there's one day missing, but that's fine. And so, deep sleep whisper. There's a big surge in July. Um, but December I had, or well, January 2019, 4,842 downloads. And then in December I had 8,464 downloads. I had a couple of months that were the highest, which would be July and August. July, August being 11,057 downloads. And July being 15,803 downloads. But overall, it's gone up, you know, like overall, if that makes sense. So I don't know what the average would be. I could work it out with a calculator. Um, but the from the looks of it, it's averaging over the year being about 7,000 downloads a day, a month, maybe 8,000. So that's that one. So I wonder if I did that on the whole of, um, not for the whole pod, the whole lot of them, the whole lot of them, what would be the, the result? Ah, so this is what I want. This is basically a good overall kind of view. So this is all the podcasts together and how many I've had for each month um, since January. Bearing in mind January the 1st is not included because it doesn't, it's not including that in the stats. But that would only be minimal probably anyway, maybe 800 or something, 600 for that day so 
January 2019, this is for all the podcasts, uh, no, 19,684 downloads. February, 27,029 downloads. March 2019, 27,488 downloads. April, bit of a rise, 43,387 downloads. May, 40,769 downloads. Uh, June, 2019, 37,657 downloads. July, now I would have thought July would be the top month because of that increase that I talked about. Um, we had a bit of an increase in July. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but anyway, it did go up from 37,657 to 57,520, which is quite a big jump, isn't it? What, 37, 57, yeah, it's 20,000. Um, downloads, 57,520 downloads. Um, that's July but then August it goes up again 59,772 downloads September around the same just a little bit yeah a little bit higher 59,969 downloads I think October and November represent perhaps me not have producing as many recordings as I had previously but they're still fairly good Uh, October 53,127 downloads November 50,137 downloads and then December is higher than I thought it was it's 66,528 downloads plus 741 on-demand plays. So 66,528 downloads. Um, That's pretty good, isn't it? And based on that, if I had that every month of the year, that would be (laughs) 660,000 plus another two. 660,780 so it's about 800,000 roughly kind of just under 800,000 if I had um, the same amount each month that's December I'm hoping it's going to be higher well just based on the January was 19,684 downloads and December was 66,528 it's quite a a, a leap isn't it bearing in mind it has gradually grown, it goes down a little bit every now and then, then it goes up again then it kind of evens out roughly but ultimately if you look at the beginning then look at the end, you know January then December there's a big difference between the two. I mean, even the down, even the plays, 70 plays in January, 741 plays in uh, December. So yeah, I'm fairly pleased with that. The I might even make a. couple of new podcasts during next year I'm not sure we'll see so yeah so that was I wonder oh it doesn't tell me the listeners on the so let me just see the last last month December so that was that big jump, 16th, 5,012 downloads. Um, this, it's evening out roughly. I'd say forgetting that 5,000 jump, because that would, that's going to 
change the, the the statistics, the average is going to be increased tremendously by that big jump. So if you're getting that one, you know, standout day, based on the rest of the days, it's averaging out about two thousand downloads a day. But then I didn't produce much in December which is weird considering it was the most the biggest um, month but even that one day doesn't really it doesn't give a, a reason for it to be 66,000 because it was only 3,000 more just on that one day so yeah that's pretty good next month let's see what the average was In November. November 19th. Yeah, okay. Again, averaging, yeah, probably about 2,000. There's some very quiet days in that shit. It's actually one. One day, which is very weird. I had two, two days in November where it was 1,063, and then one day it was 1,064. That's very rare. I'm not sure why. That's probably maybe I hadn't recorded anything for a couple of days. It's just one of those days. Oh, what? Well, 30th of November I only got 1,014 downloads and it's strange but the rest of the month they were averaging about 2,000 plus so yeah I now want to look at October terrible isn't it what was October like well let me tell you it was October, oh, that's weird. No, October, October. No, October, go back. October to October. I think that was a, yeah. Because the stats changed. Because I had all these stats, and then suddenly Spreaker said, "Oh, by the way, we've been doing the stats wrong." And it took about at least fifteen thousand off my downloads of the stats. This was probably October time. Maybe it was longer. It doesn't seem that long ago, but it might have been longer. It's like, what are you doing? I can't just take my stats away, but they did. Now it's just after I reached 500,000 and I posted it on Facebook, Twitter and just like, yay, I've reached half a million. You be do be do be do. And uh, then suddenly, I think a week later or whatever too, and I, I was up to about 517,000 I think. And I went on there and suddenly I was at 501,000. I was like, what? What have we done? And they had a little message saying, yeah, it's, uh, we're now part of uh, an organisation which means we have to do the stats correctly. We can't estimate anymore. It has to be exact. Otherwise, we can't be part, uh, part of this podcast organisation or whatever. Uh, okay. Can you add add some on for me instead of taking them off? So yeah, there you go. So I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. I was hoping to have ten thousand a day by the end of this year. But like anything, you got to put the work in. I can't. Yeah, you know this. 
it's a bit of a juggling, a bit of a juggle with the different with the different podcasts to keep them all kind of going and you know up and running in that. Which is the one? JK RST. Okay. Did I say relaxation hypnosis for anxiety? 61,503. See, today, right, bearing in mind the last time I made a relaxation uh, uh, relaxation hypnosis stress anxiety it was number 68 and it was the 14th of December and then I did post a bunch of relaxation sessions on the 16th of December so that's what 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 so that's 17 days ago and yesterday, no, today, so far, and uh, I've had 453 downloads on that podcast just today. And it's 17 days since I last posted anything. So it's, uh, I need to, well, I need to put some more energy into that podcast because... Technically, it, if I, it's it's probably my most it's kind of my most popular one, one of my most popular podcasts. It's just I didn't start making new material till about April or May for these recordings. In fact, I can tell you exactly when it was. It was. It was, it was, it was June. So up to, I had this podcast, I posted it with 34 recordings. And the last recording was the 18th of February 2017, which was long before I even posted the podcast on this, you know, posted them all on there. So I posted the podcast on the 21st of November 2017. Now 2018. And I noticed that it was growing and I couldn't figure out why. And the the first episode of it had 4128 downloads and episode 34 as as we stand now has 4,162 downloads. And I started thinking, oh, oh. and all the others have, get, have got lots as well during that, you know, 34 episodes. And I thought, I thought for weeks about it, like perhaps I should make a new one, like just make a new episode, see if they like, if people want to listen to it. So that's what I did on the 12th of June. 2019 I made episode number 35 and I continued making episodes up to number 68 which was on the 14th of December and there's, there's sometimes a week or two sometimes longer between episodes but the you know they do get and for example, episode 51 was on the 29th of August. I had 1,190 downloads of that one. The next episode I didn't do till the 6th of September. So it was only a week, really. So I had over 1,000 in a week. And some of the others, 14th of October, and then the next one was the 30th of October, but the one I did on the 14th of October had 1,557 downloads, which, from the looks of it, is one of the most popular downloads outside of the, you know, the original 34. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
if I was to, I think if I was to make a recording every day for that podcast, um, my download numbers would shoot up, you know, a lot. As well as if I made a deep sleep whisper re- hypnosis podcast, if I did that every every day, again, what that's at two hundred thirty five downloads for the day. Yesterday was three hundred and six downloads for the deep sleep whisper hypnosis. It's a hundred and so I did a hundred, episode 170 on the 20th of December so if I did one of these every day that would end up being I'd probably be getting six, seven, eight hundred, maybe more downloads a day so it does, you know, I do wonder I do wonder, what should I do? Let's have a look at the most popular podcast I've got, which is 130,129. That's the Hypnosis of Sleeping Deeply, which has all my stuff on it. So I haven't... Oh, the top, the top day in the last 30 days was the 16th of December, 723 downloads on that podcast quite a few days I've had five over 500 yesterday I had 318 downloads and today so far 234 downloads but I've not made oh I did I did what am I talking about I made a recording on the 1st of January and that's had 227 downloads it's, let me show you this yeah so I've talked about this before but the, so episode 289 this is episode 290 can you believe it so episode 289 let me bore you to sleep 1st of January on the let me have a look on this podcast it's had 157 downloads so this is the actual proper podcast yeah for this recording for all these recordings so 157 downloads yeah on where is it on the hypnosis of sleeping deeply I had 227 downloads for that for that um, episode and on the other podcast Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis I had 335 downloads for that episode 289 so 3 6 I'm pretty sure that's nearly a thousand downloads that's roughly isn't it I might be getting it wrong but isn't that interesting well and so far today on the uh, sleep insomnia hypnosis that's the one where I've got 120,060 downloads I've had 421 down no 429 downloads today so far and it's not even 5 o'clock in the afternoon yet and that that cuts off at about 2 o'clock in the morning so it just shows you that Yes, I had 506 downloads. It's growing. These are always high. This podcast is high. It's always like 400, 500 a day. You know, the average is out about 500 a day. So, the two, episode 288, Let Me Boy to Sleep, on the 28th of December last year, 577 downloads. On this, on that, that podcast, but on this podcast, the Let Me Boy to Sleep, 
where is it? I had 295 downloads. And then on the other podcast, the Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply, I had 437 downloads for that at episode 288. So it's quite um, generally. I'm getting thousands, getting over yeah, getting over a thousand downloads for each episode. Even though on the "Let Me Bore You to Sleep" podcast it doesn't, but with all the others it does. It just it adds up. And also post it on Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service podcast, and there's a lot less on there. Um, the 1st of January one is 31 downloads and the uh, the one on the 28th of December 47 downloads but I literally get I mean today so far I've had 43 downloads on that podcast yesterday 57 pod- downloads I don't get many and that's the the player that I have on the first page of my website. So that's, yeah, I don't know, I quite like that. Let me see the Deep Sleep Whisper, see where they are. So the Deep Sleep Whisper, I'll go in a minute, the Deep Sleep Whisper, my last recording was episode 170. So I've had 1,041 downloads. That was on the 20th of December. 1,041. So let's have a look at the other podcasts where it's on as well. The Deep Sleep and the... Where is it? Oh, Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply. Just scratching myself. So where is it? 170. So 341 downloads for that. And then for the the top one. Oh no, sleep insomnia hypnosis. 170, 170, where are we? 347 downloads. So that's what three six hundred one thousand six hundred seven hundred or something one thousand yeah that's not bad is it the thing is it just shows that with the deep sleep whisper as well as the relaxation for stress and anxiety people are going back every day and listening to those uh, podcasts but with the let me bore you to sleep because I'm I don't know if the word prolific is correct for this but regular I'm very regular with these Um, I have the odd day when I don't do anything but it's not usually uh, more than a few days between. Occasionally there is, but it's not very often. So I suppose people don't need to go back to the old stuff so much because there's a new one to listen to. Perhaps. I love that word, piaps. Piaps, maybe. Ah, oh, so that's it. Let's have a look what other ones are there to look at before we go. You know, the only other podcasts that have kind of risen a little bit. Um, is uh, self help and self self help and self development. But even then. I had 52 downloads today, Um, and that's 17,904 total downloads. 
71 listenable episodes. The last one was Forgiven Others Helps You, posted on the on the okay, the 11th of October. And there's 521 downloads for that. 529 downloads. But there's 71 um, recordings that are quite good, you know. Well, uh, I think they're pretty good. But I am biased, of course. Of course. So, and some of those, there's stuff on there that I've done, uh, recorded specifically for people. Uh, so like, help with overeating and binge eating. Um, that was a request. Requested ideas about dealing with a relationship breakdown or breakup. Um, balloon phobia. No other ones as a request. Um, no more cutting. That was a request. Yeah, there's quite a few. I've just not put requests next to all of them, but I remember doing them. Well, I kind of remember. So yeah, there's a few, a few recordings there. Some stop nail biting recording. So that was, uh, that might have been a request. I can't remember. Let go of sure the tinnitus ones, I don't know where the hypnosis for tinnitus, yeah, that was a request, oh yeah, I've got a list of requests there, stop calling yourself ugly, that was a request, overcoming creativity block, that was a request, stop caring what others think, that was a request, hypnosis for self-esteem and confidence, that was a request, no more cutting, that was a request, can you trust someone who's cheated on you? That was a request. That was just one word, no. <laughs> uh, number one is, you deserve to feel safe. Um, but that was a request. Uh, other requests, become more confident with hypnosis. Change negative internal dialogue. Don't allow other people words, words to hurt you. Get in touch with feeling safe. 2017 edition be kind and gentle to yourself eat more slowly with hypnosis forgiveness and safety 2017 uh, self love healing your elbow with hypnosis hypnosis for fear of uh, feeling nauseous or nausea or vomiting healing emotional pain love your body with hypnosis Hypnosis of binge eating and drinking and become guilt, uh, become free from guilt with hypnosis. There's quite a few requests there. There's also other stuff um, that might be useful. But it, as I said, it's only got 17,904 downloads. So it's not, uh, it's not the most prolific. Pro, pro, prolific. Prolific hypnosis for music. This is this one's regular, if that makes sense. There's sleep hypnosis with music, thirteen thousand five hundred eighteen downloads. There's only fifteen episodes or fifteen recordings. Um, the last one I put on on the eighth of uh, October. I've had 1,298 downloads of that one. And the first six I did, uh, the sixth episode, I had 5,262 5, downloads. So, yeah, it's kind of just average. It's, it's a very small amount. Today, so far, I've had 38 downloads. And most I've had this month was 55 downloads well, not this month but during the 30, last 30 days 
I'm guessing if I recorded more recordings, that's one that would grow. Yeah, I suppose two months, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? That would make sense. So I might look into that. But hopefully I've bored your socks off making this recording and I'm going to have to go back and edit it because whilst I was recording someone knocked at the door so I'm going to edit that out so you won't hear that knock you might hear faint sounds of a washing machine in the background but it should be very faint but that's part of doing a recording during the day it's, it's hard to uh, avoid any kind of sounds you know so I'm going to go, I'm going to wish you a happy new year. I will be back again tomorrow, hopefully, making another Let Me Bore You To Sleep. I'm also going to be making more other recordings. More other, it's not really a proper sentence, is it? But newer recordings on the other podcasts as well. As well as, I want to do more of the self-help self-development recordings uh, I'd like to do more chronic pain relief um, so yeah I've I, I got lots of ideas and um, of what I want to do what I'd like to I want to grow this I think every year it should grow every year the service should grow there should be more I should produce more each year and I have done for the last few years uh, last year was it must have been the most amount I've ever produced in any year and the year before that was also the most I'd ever produced up to that point so I guess 2020 should be another one where I produced even more than the year before so that's my plan so thank you very much for listening remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.